gotta stay, gotta stay on chat. Gotta stay, gotta stay on chat. Gotta stay, gotta stay on chat. Awesome. Give everybody some time to get in here. But I, otherwise I have everything ready to go, which is exciting. I got my loop switches. Um, I think I'm gonna go Cat Arctic tonight on this. Um, part of it's because I lack a 7U for a lot of sets, but um, I think it'll look good and it'll give you an idea of a different uh, key cat profile on it. Yeah, I don't think I've tried cat on. I think on cat, this yet. Cat is slightly taller than like Cherry OEM, so I think that'll be that'll be good too. So you can kind of get a better idea. I was gonna I was gonna throw like a DSA and a hub keycap just so people people could see how deep they go. <laughs> yeah, I'm. That's one thing that I've already changed in the design. I know people. Um, there was some feedback I got, and it was like overwhelmingly go higher on the on the on the depth, nice. uh, the not have them sit so low. Okay. I need uh, if any one of uh, the viewers in chat, if you guys can confirm that you can hear uh, Christian and myself, that'd be great. Just so there's no issues tonight. <laughs> that'd be super helpful. And we'll let everybody kind of roll in here. Let me uh, let me tell the folks over in Kube server too. Paint brush proto. Hey Dan, how are you tonight? And thank you for joining. As always, you're you're my steady viewer, which is always fun. And Christian, the, the other the only other set I was thinking about was uh, the candy bar black on white set that I have um, because I can pull the seven U from the EPBT black on white set that I have. So. Yeah, I think cat would probably look pretty good. I haven't tried. I, I think I've only done cherry on okay. mine so far. Um, just GMK keycaps. Nice. I have one cat set with the 7U that I could probably use, but it's on my C2 right now. Okay. Um, which I need to find the 40s kit for that. I foolishly didn't order it for some reason. Uh, cat just took forever to ship. I probably just didn't think about it at the time. And, which um, you you're a low key like '40s baller, right? I mean, you own a lot of a lot of really nice boards. <laughs> I do. I I'm like addicted. I try to <laughs> at least these days. I try to like stay not on the prowl for new boards. But uh, I actually just uh, had a van uh, round two, a vanagon. Oh. I. Uh, I wasn't using it much. I did like the board, but I, I ended up uh, selling it to Fruit. Um, oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna use it way more than I am, so I happy to sell. I'm gonna go, uh, yes, Mr. Shiro, we are with Zeus. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with the uh, round four van, whatever he's calling that, um, the milled acrylic one. 
um, cause I missed out on one and two. I didn't really want the hole again. So, um, I, I play enough Warzone that I can make it work on that. So I'm definitely going to go in on round four. Yeah. I want the mill acrylic one. I'd probably keep that one. Uh, cause I love clear boards. I did get the Hologon, um, which I actually keep forgetting about that. It's like not in, you know, my shop app where I just keep up with all my purchases. So that always just slips my mind. Thank but you. I'm excited for that. <laughs> That's right. It is going to be baller. You're correct. All right, let me see if I can minimize this chat. I like opened it up unintentionally on my uh, stream labs. We'll figure that. There it is. The arrows to make her so weird. I can see it um, through my standard stream lab. So I'm going to start pulling out the pieces. I know you're watching. Um, we'll get started. Hopefully, more people roll in here, but. Anything you want me to start with, or do you want me to just kind of go as I feel comfortable? Uh, yeah, just go with how you want. Okay, uh, awesome. Got nothing specific to point out, at least not yet. All right, cool. So we'll start with the with the small hardware first. Um, you gave me two encoders. Uh, are they any different? Uh, is one uh, uh, dented, yes. dented or whatever it is? Yeah, so the, the black plastic one there on the left, um, that one is just like smooth, no detents on it. Okay. Uh, it also doesn't have a click. I couldn't find any at the ah. time when I bought those with a click, because that's what I would prefer. Yeah. But the other one is kind of like your standard you see detent. You 111, uh, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. I think the, the black one is EC12, and okay. then the other one is EC11. Uh, yeah. This one's the, uh, the, the black one. It's really tight, first of all. Um, this is the same one that's in the garbage truck, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to go with the, the dented, dented, dented uh, with the click, um, just cause that's what I'm used to. So I'm going to end up going with that one tonight. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. I, I enjoy this. Hey, anime. Hey, melon. What's going on? Thank you. Thank you. How are you guys? Um, and then, of course, we've got the uh, the daughter board here with the cable connections. So, sorry, the light's harsh there. Uh, USB-C. Uh, anything in particular about this, or is it just your standard uh, daughter board? Yeah, just your standard daughter board. That one right there is actually from Piney. Uh, yeah, I so. saw that. <laughs> here, I can see that. Oops. Yeah, so I included two cables there uh, for the group buy. I'm probably just going to go with, like, a one without the the shielding on there um okay i don't think it really matters either way uh just included it there in case the the, yeah. the shielding causes any problems nice and then uh looks like some extra magnets and some gaskets correct right yeah i just threw the magnets in there in case something goes wrong okay uh, and so then the bump ons too. Yeah, sure. Actually, I'm gonna pull the bump ons out now. That's like one of the first things I like doing, just to protect the case and stuff. So we'll we'll get to these in a second, but you'll have to walk me through the gaskets uh, when we, when it comes time for that. So that'll be cool. Yeah, sure. I'm looking forward to that. That'll be my first. Uh, this will be my first gasket keyboard. I actually have not used one yet. <laughs> out of all the experience I have, um, I have not used one. So this will be kind of exciting. So. Let's get the fun part. We've got the bottom of the case. Uh, and this is uh, milled acrylic, right? right? And for the group buy, um, are you are you thinking still with this material? Or are you thinking going polycarb, aluminum? Uh, what's that look like for you? Um, well, probably polycarb looks like the, the more popular option. Uh, I don't think a lot of people have experience with milled acrylic. Um, which it's, I think it's a little bit clearer mm -hmm. and it comes out a little bit better than polycarb does. Um, but I don't think there's anything wrong with polycarb. Yeah, I so. would, I would agree. Um, so I'm going to put the bump ons on and then we'll talk about what the, the magnets in here already. Um, and we can, we can kind of go through that, which, uh, in playing around with this a little bit, I found it really unique and fascinating. I mean, I think I told you in our DMS that I'm like super, super excited to kind of see this maybe a little more often, a little more out there for, for other designers. Um, Cause I love the idea of no hardware, like of, of no screws to mess with uh, outside of the daughter board. Um, that's just like super exciting, which 
you just had pegs for the daughter board, right? We're not uh we're not right. screwing anything so, there. Yeah, and that that could change. It depends on um, you know, obviously feedback from you and how other prototypes might go. Um there is like an included piece of uh, like double-sided tape just to kind of really secure it in there. Okay. Um, but yeah, those pegs just hold it in place so it doesn't slide around or anything, and then the, the tape secures it. Okay, awesome. But yeah, the, the no hardware concept is kind of what I designed the board around. I was like, uh, well, what if you had no screws? You know? <laughs> Although you're never looking at the bottom of the board for the no, most part. No. I just like the, the clean look of no screw holes. I, I'm with you on that. And then, like, you can always run the risk of stripping something, um, especially with, like, polycarb. Um, unfortunately, one of the plate screws is kind of the the internal piece is stripped on on the ocean, which sucks. Um, so you you avoid that, which is great. Um, so I'm I'm kind of a fan of this. And like I said, I'm playing with it so far. I, I think you I think you've kind of hit the nail on the head with that, if you will. All right, let's. Uh... So we've got, it looks like eight magnets total in the edge of the case, uh, t two in each, or four in the corners, and then two kind of in the, we'll call it the middle, um, is, is the plan, depending on how this goes, to keep it with just the eight little ones, and then the two for the, uh, the weight? Right, yeah, so I did test with only the four in the corners, and I think that was fine. Uh, it held up pretty well. But just for that extra security, we'll keep the, the four in the middle. Okay, awesome. All right. I think uh, I think this is my favorite part of the build, or at least of the board so far, is the copper weight. Um, is this fully copper, or is it like copper covered zinc, like kind of like a penny? Uh, no, it's it's full copper. And wow. big shout out to OCM, one creative mind for the, the design on the weight. Okay. Turned out great. Yeah, and then I posted a picture in your channel. Uh, the PCB has the same logo as well, uh, but this looks fantastic. I love it. <laughs> um, and the camera doesn't pick up how this looks like a fresh penny. Like, it looks kind of goldish, but um, this is, like, super, super clean looking. Uh, XSS, is it sandblasted or is it anode? I think it's, I think it's blasted, right? Yep, that's sandblasted. Okay, but but there's no uh, no anno, there's no clear coat. I think you specifically said, kind of hoping that it patinas. It might take a while, but uh, it should, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it should. Mine's already patinated a little bit, um, just because I've been handling it, taking apart so much. Yep. Um, so it's gotten a little bit darker. Okay, I don't mind actually. I think it'd look cool if it kind of patinas that greenish uh, color that copper does. That'll look really neat. Um, and like I keep some of my brass weights really clean, but this I'm not as worried about. I'm actually kind of looking forward to it a little bit. So, um, and it looks like you've got holes here for the two other magnets. And what I what I like about this when I played around with it earlier is that the magnets aren't touching each other here in the bottom of the case, um, but rather they're they're kind of sitting through the through the weight, correct? Right. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And so uh, one thing I did notice, and I, I think I'm just going to chalk this up to PCB way rather than your design. Um, it's, this is super tight to fit in here. And I, I don't know. It if is. It's... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just Mine's the same way. Um, and that's something I'll need to look at as well. Oh, uh, well, that never mind. That went in a little easier. I think because I forced it a little earlier and I'd noticed like a hair of the acrylic like shaving came off. <laughs> but uh, no, it, it, it sits fine now. Okay. It's cool. And these are uh, melanas. These are glued in, right? The magnets. Yeah. So I personally glued those in. Um, when I order the protos, I'll have the, the factory um, or another round of protos after, you know, changes. Yep. I'll have them kind of assemble that. Okay. Uh, the only other thing that I noticed earlier, and again, I'm, I'm chalking this up to PCB way, is there's a small, small gap here um, at the top of the weight between the weight and the case. Um, but again, like it's kind of the same thing I ran through with Ocean. Um, so I'm assuming again because it's acrylic and because it's not perfect, it's from PCB way that it's it's got a little bit of a gap. So just FYI. But otherwise, looks awesome. Um, and I, again, I like the copper color. It shows up as brass on my camera. <laughs> it's like like gold color, but 
um, in person. This looks fantastic. So well done on the material choice so far. I'm really, really pleased with that. Thank you. And then uh, I'll pull out the top because kind of the same concept. You've got your, uh, your matching magnets here. Um, and I'll kind of show everybody because I was playing around with that. That clicked. Uh, I, and I'm picking this up by the top. Just everybody can see how strong that is. Um, these are great, but with your alignment tabs, um, everything lines up really, really nicely along the edges. There's no, I can't like feel the gap, if you will. Um, so this is this is a genius way to put the case together. I love this, <laughs> and it makes me super excited. Like I said, super strong. <laughs> so this will magnets are much stronger than I was expecting. When I was testing out, I was like, yeah, these are. These are actually kind of tough to take apart. Which which is a good thing. I, I don't think you want yeah. anything loose, right? Um, but right. This, this piece, like outside of the small like tolerance slash clearance issues, um, this piece is really nice. I love the exploded escape. I love the rotary encoder. I love the two extra macro keys here, like whatever you want them to be. Um, and again, like another 1.75 backspace board. It's what we need. Like it's like the perfect layout. So... Um, I am stoked to build this, but this this came out really nice. I really like the top. I love milled acrylic. Um, you know, I had the C2 for a hot minute before I traded it, and uh, really nice board as well. So this this I think you're gonna, outside of any unforeseen problems, I think you're gonna hit it out of the park with this. Honestly. All right, and then uh, got the copper weight as well which by the way this thing is immaculate no marks on it um sorry boys harsh light is this uh 1.5 millimeters thick it it seems pretty standard correct right yep 1.5 okay and so i understand it the gaskets will go on either side of the tab and then that'll sit into the technically on here but uh, in between the top and bottom case right yes okay yeah so the the thinner gaskets will sit on top okay uh, so will touch the top of the case and then the thicker gaskets are on the bottom okay should i put them on after i build with the switches or beforehand um it would probably be a little easier to do it beforehand um just so that you know you don't kind of mess up the alignment okay uh, but uh, it's preference. Okay, so let's let's do beforehand. Let's do, go ahead and do it now. Um, I don't see anything wrong with that. And you said the thinner will go on top, correct? Correct. Okay. It's just a little easier to get them on there uh, when the switches aren't in the way. Okay. And this is the tape for the um, daughter board. Yeah, there's. I include like a, a bigger piece. There should be like a smaller cut piece in there. That. Ah, yeah, that little one. Uh, okay. That'll fit on there. Okay. That's just extra. Gotcha. I appreciate all the extra stuff. I never know when I'm gonna like lose something. <laughs> all right. So if this is the top. You said the thinner pieces go on top. Yeah, and I think there's a bunch of extra gaskets as well. Probably. Oh, the magnets snuck out too. Okay. Sorry. I know those are kind of hidden from the shadow of the microphone, but yeah, there's plenty there. All right. So let's peel. Uh, garbage can go over here. All right. I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I'm going to try and line it up best I can. Perfect. There's one. Did you, uh, did you find sourcing the, the gaskets hard? Um, is there... Is there anything I need need to know for future boards? Because um, I always know that like when that when people were first starting to try and get gaskets, that was like it seemed like sourcing or getting them cut was always the pain in the ass. Um, maybe at skill it might be a little harder. I actually had these cut by Jake at a P3D. Oh, okay. Um, I forget we have a so. I forget we have a resource now for for cutting and uh, other things needed. <laughs> Right, yeah, no, he's, he's great. I've done a lot of business with him, just on personal stuff, and 
for these gaskets. Um, had them cut a few uh, prototype plates for this that, that were um, palm that I've been using. Nice. And those are nice. Oh, speaking of, I actually need him to cut a, I wonder if he has carbon fiber. I need him to cut a carbon fiber plate for me for the ocean. Um, I'm going to take this aluminum build, put it up in the purple one, and then put carbon fiber plate in the polycarbonate. I think that'll A, look really cool, and B, I think it'll sound amazing. Yeah, the carbon fiber plate should look really good through that, uh, through the polycarb. Yeah. Well, I'm, uh, I'm super happy with it on the, uh, SP Mini, um, which you sold to me, right? I think that was you, or Static, one of you two. Uh, done a lot with everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sold that to me, which, again, big shout out because you were a homie for doing that, uh, especially group prep, group by price. I, I would have paid more, but you are a true homie, so thank you. Um, but yeah, I love the carbon fiber plate on there, especially with, with those um, Gateron Limbo tactiles. They're awesome. Um, so yeah, carbon fiber is kind of on my list. And then uh, what I noticed, sir, I'll, I'll point this out for our viewers. Um, the top gaskets are pretty firm. Um, they're, they're super thin, but they're pretty firm. As soon as I pick this up, uh, this is a lot more squishy uh, and there's a lot more give. Um, and I kind of like that. It, that. That makes me excited to have a little bit of uh, a give to it. SP Mini feels really great. Wasn't sure how I'd like the sandwich carbon fiber. Yeah, Matt, it is uh, it is really good, isn't it? Um, I was hesitant at first, but uh, super, super pleased with it now. And it's one of my favorite daily boards. Although, uh, shout out to Melon. I've been using the MB44 for like the last week and a half. I think a lot of that has to do with the switches I put into it. They sound really good. It feels really good. Um, that's a fantastic board. You really, you did a great job with that Melon, so... Um, you've, you've knocked out the SP Mini as the daily for a while, which is hard to do, in my opinion. Yeah, I'll second that. I built my MB44 the other day, and it's it's great. Would you uh, would you build yours with? I built mine with uh, some red inks. Okay, nice. Actually, no, I, I take that back. I think they were um, there were some Durox. Uh, I forgot the weight on. That might be like fifty-five or sixty-two, something like that grams. Uh, some linears, but yeah, they, they sound really great. I went with a polycarb plate. Nice. Yeah, I went with the standard FR4 on the. I think I did it on stream. Yeah, standard FR4. The plate foam's nice too. Um, just well thought out board, and honestly, the pricing was it was really great for that board. That's such a good like entry premium 40 for a lot of people, um, and I know a lot of people who took advantage, like Dan, who's in chat now, and others, and um, yeah, just. That's a, that's that was a well run buy, honestly, and well thought out board. I agree. I really enjoy it. Yep. By the way, shout out to uh, to Rain. I see you in here. Uh, XS. I actually didn't know this was your first time uh, chatting. So thanks, thanks for being part of my stream tonight. I really appreciate that. Um, obviously, we have Christian, aka Young Zeus, in here. Um, and XS asked. CF is a wonderful plate material. Do you like half plates or full? I actually, so the SP Mini is my only, my only experience with them so far. Um, so I, I'd be interested. I've never tried a half plate build. I, I know that sounds weird, um, but I've, I've always been like up until recently a, a top mount firm typing experience type of guy. Not that carbon fiber has a lot of give, but um, just never really gave thought to like half plates and I'm, I think I'm more open to it now than I ever was previously so it's it's on my list all right got some gaskets on there sweet so uh, sorry if they're black on a black friggin mat I should I should get a different color mat for when I build <laughs> um, but yeah this this looks great um, and this will be fun so it'll sit with the thicker gaskets here and the thinner gaskets up top Cool. All right, so now that we did that, I'm gonna take a second and I'm gonna show off this PCB because I think it's probably my favorite part of the build. Hey, gnarly, yeah, oh yeah, it is uh, it is copper and it is beautiful and the weight is copper too. So I don't know if you were in here from the beginning. Dimple R2 is for sale right now with the half plate. Um, so I'm actually waiting for there's another board 
from Jackie that he's got an IC. It starts with an S, like the Seferum or something like that. Um, that's what I'm waiting for. I, I'd like a dimple, but I think I'm going to hold off. And between that board, all the ones we have in 40s, and the Pearl R2, and the Zeus, I know, TKL bad, uh, and the Zeus pad, I have a lot of money coming up that's going to have to go towards keyboards. So um, I may hold off on the dimple. <laughs> Yeah, syrup, syrup M. Yeah, that's what it is. All right, so um, this PCB, this is the bottom side for everybody that's curious. Uh, there's the paintbrush logo. Um, black with, uh, you said it's it's clear clear copper silk or or uh, this is just what they colored it. What what's the PCB like, Christian? Uh, so it's. Um black fr4 black core uh with clear solder mask okay so this is actually the copper uh traces yes okay that's awesome uh matthew excess thank you guys for the follow welcome um kind of surprised you guys haven't been here before so <laughs> thank you for thank you for hanging um i hope you got to see the recording of my interview with uh andrew aka wallet burner um so i've got this build tonight I was just going through this with someone else. I got this build tonight. I've got a uh, garbage truck on Saturday at 1.30 in, uh, in the afternoon Eastern time. A bunch of the UK, EU folks want to see that. Um, coriander the week after. Uh, Neutrophilineage, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. So we got garbage. this garbage truck, coriander. If Phoenix ever gets done because <laughs> it's stuck in the line for anodization, um, we'll do that one. And then whatever else I want to buy, um, I'm probably going to do a, a bigger board, like a 60 or 65% coming up soon. I know that the Carolina Mex, uh, Paul Meadow, they, they want me to build one on stream. So I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, thanks for thanks for coming in and hanging out. Appreciate it. Uh, Neutra, don't worry. It is up on my current. It's currently on Twitter uh, or Twitter. It's on Twitch uh, under the VODs. Uh, I will have it on YouTube by tomorrow for sure. So if you want to check that out, uh, I'll link that in, in Discord too. Um, but sorry, had to plug myself there <laughs> for a minute. Oh, and we've got, I'm still trying to schedule the Tiny Makes things for an interview. So that'll be really cool, um, which is, I'm super excited for that one. But yeah, so this, this I think with the clear solder mask on the black FR4, um, seeing the copper, A, it fits your theme, uh, but B, I just, I love the way this looks. This looks very classy. It looks very clean. Um, again, sorry about the harsh lighting, guys. I don't have the best lighting set up here, um, but I love this. This is a good look, and uh, if you offer, like, black or dark gray for anodization, I think this will just look really classy in it, too, so uh, very nice job with this, Christian, for sure. Thank you. All right, and uh, if you guys didn't hear earlier, you you weren't in here in time, we're going to go 7U on this. So we're going to go with the really big space bar. Um, and I think we're going to go with Cat Arctic because I have a knob that matches it. Um, and it just kind of, it'll be good to see what Cat Profile looks on this. Um, Christian already said he made changes uh, based on the feedback in the IC forum or in the IC channel, which, by the way, uh, dude, huge shout out for to you making changes based on the actual feedback um and trying to accommodate everybody i know a lot of people aren't willing to do that um they use like an ic as an advertisement but you have legitimately taken the feedback for the split space uh for the height of the keycaps that's a huge deal you deserve some credit for that so uh shout out to you for doing so thanks yeah yeah it's uh, at the end of the day you know if people are going to want to buy the board I want them to have something they're happy with. Sure. You know, I can always make something that I feel good about, but I've kind of already got that. So this will be for the people. That's awesome. Well, like I said, enough. Uh, a lot of people don't. Uh, they do it. They do it for what they want, not for everybody else. And I think that kind of gets lost uh, sometimes through the ICs. But um, I think at this point we're ready to kind of start building. If you're good with that, um, I'm going to start with the rotary. I always start with that. And uh, looking forward to this one. This should be a lot of fun. And like I said, I've got a I've got a blue and white knob. That's kind of why I want to go with uh, Cat Arctic along with the Seven U Space Bar. That it's like one of the few sets that has them. Um, 
I'm trying to buy, actually, trying to buy a GMK Terminal plus the 40s kit. Um, I found someone who's selling it, but he hasn't responded yet, so hopefully I can make that happen. That's kind of one of those uh, grail sets for me personally. Oh, this tip looks really bad. I need to replace this soon. This poor soldering iron's been through hell and back. So, uh, Christian, when did you uh, when did you get into keyboards? How long have you been doing this? I got into keyboards. So I got my first keyboard back in like 2016, my first mechanical keyboard. Um, but I didn't really start getting into the hobby until a couple of years ago, like maybe mid 2019. Uh, it's kind of when I started delving into custom stuff. Um, so there's a good few year gap where I just kind of missed everything. Um, but uh, I think beginning of, or end of, end of 2019 is when I discovered 40s and kind of fell in love. Nice. Started, you know, buying as, as much as I could. That's awesome. Um, so you were involved, but not involved. That's what we'll say, right? I think that's fair. Origin right, like, originally to get started yeah i didn't i didn't really pay attention to the the custom stuff at all i had a my first board was a poker three with cherry mx clears um and then when the n pro came out i got one of those wanted to try out bluetooth but after that i kind of just stopped and didn't really pay attention to keyboards for a while uh and then like i said i got into 40s nice these these looked like they uh, they connected for a hot second. Trying to make sure they didn't. It might just be the flux, honestly. <sighs> yeah, I think we're okay. I guess we'll know if the encoder doesn't work, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. So the encoder's on. Um, next up, stabilizer. And I always screw myself up between when I say, like, stab, stabilizer. It always comes out as stabilizer. I sound like an idiot. Uh, but like I said, we're going to go 7U, which is exciting. Um, always, I'm always big for 40s that offer 7U. It's, uh, I enjoy that very much. <laughs> I also yeah, like... I'm more of a ahead, split space kind of guy. Mm -hmm. um, but Big Bar does look incredibly nice. Yeah, I, I like to low-key think I started the 7U on a 40 movement um, when I did the Tanuki with the 7U. <laughs> um, that's my, I'm, I'm calling that my own claim to fame. Um, but that was, that was a long time ago. Um, and then, uh, what's his name? Um, Worldspawn started offering a PCB with 7U support uh, after I did that, which was really cool. It's also the board that got me in the Wired article. Um, that that author from Wired saw it on Reddit and then reached out to me. And then next thing you know, I had like a 30 minute interview with him. Um, and he quoted me a couple times and asked for pictures. And yeah, that's how I got into Wired. I've never seen that. Gotta um, look that up. Piece of history. Search, uh, if you search Wired uh, article, um, tiny keyboards it should be the first one that pops up by boone ashworth that's like one of my one free uh <laughs> views of wired <laughs> but yeah uh for those of you that are new to the stream i always lube the inside of the stabilizer housings uh, with something like, in this case, 205 grade zero. And then I do the wires with uh, dielectric grease. Usually I put something down like a stabilizer pad on the uh, PCB, but I did it without it on the uh, MB44 and it came out really nice. So I'm gonna trust myself and, and do that again.
Yeah, Matthew, uh, it's uh, Wallet talked about this uh, on Tuesday night. The poker was like his first board. I think that was a big board for a lot of people to get into the scene a little bit. Um, that seems to be a popular, or and pro, kind of like I was talking about. Uh, that was one of my first. And then, um, I'm sorry if I murder your name, Sijin, si Sijin. Um, you guys also do not use stabs on greater than 2.7. On, on less than, uh, it depends. So if it's like a 2U and it's a really good switch, like um, like a KTT Strawberry has like very little to no wobble. Uh, so I don't need a stabilizer on that. But something like a 2.25 or 2.75, it depends. Usually on anything above 2.25, I will. Um, I'll definitely use one. They're not my favorite. Like I'm big on no stabs. That's kind of my thing. Um, so that's why I think I prefer big bars. But um, I understand why everybody also can't use big bars and they need like the second one for a layer key or, or what have you, a backspace, whatever it is they want. Um, I jokingly think I'm kind of unique in that regard. <laughs> but I'm again, I'm in sales, so I don't use a ton of symbols and I don't need a lot of keys on average. Like I can go with the bottom row that is... Uh, shit escape your system key uh, alt and a space bar and i would be okay i'm kind of weird like that <laughs> what about you christian you're uh do you have any you said you like split spaces is it obviously i saw your picture of your paintbrush is it it's not a requirement for you though right like you can you can manage without yeah, I can manage without. I would put just, you know, like a, a layer hold on the space bar and I can deal with that. Okay. It's no issue. Um, yeah, I do prefer split space. Um, like I said, it, it's not a requirement. Um, like for the garbage truck, for example, that's uh, full space only. Yep. And I still really like that. I actually just recently built um, an ortho one. Oh, nice. I'm really enjoying that one as well ortho bad um but that's still cool <laughs> um yeah I'm, I'm gonna do the on saturday i'm gonna do the 7u symmetrical uh layout for garbage truck i think that'll look really awesome yep that's what i went with i got mine uh mine seracoded got the, the non seracoded as well kind of to match sa mizu okay um so you seracoded the board yeah oh okay <laughs> Uh, there is now 29 black ones and a gray one <laughs> and uh and your seracoded one so <laughs> yeah um, i'm not a huge fan of just black boards in general okay. um so i bought it knowing that it was going to be black only but i was like yeah I'll, I'll just change the color it's not a huge deal um so that's what i went with that's cool i that's why that's why i like this community is you can you can do what you want. I'm big on. Uh, I think you've you've seen and heard on other streams. I like um, collector pieces, not for the, not even for the the uh, value, but rather just kind of the rarity aspect. I really enjoy that. Um, so like obviously, with only 30 boards out there, plus the two prototypes, the one in the uh, Umpwe, however you want to say it, and the um, and the gray one. There's technically 32 garbage trucks, and like that's easy to keep track of. Just like the pearl was super easy to keep track of. There's 146 out there, so um, just something cool and like, if anything, I nerd out on. I think that's kind of it. <laughs> and you'll have to do the same with your paintbrush if you if you offer up a set amount. You, you should keep track of them. It's always neat to know where they end up. Yeah, might carry a little bit of history with them throughout the years. Actually, I enjoy um, my Ocean Protos. Um, obviously, not the two that I own, but some of the others. Um, they they exchange hands or have, and the way I find out is like someone's like, "Hey, um, I've I've got your Proto. Can I get the Can I get the firmware?" And I'm like, "Oh, who sold it to you?" And like, "Oh, so and so." And I'm like, "Oh, that's cool." So like being able to see where they end up i think is kind of neat too especially when it's your you know your baby you designed it um there's there's something unique about that for sure 
and I'm sure you'll experience that at some point if you do, if you have to do another set of protos or anything like that for this board. Yeah, I think it's really cool, especially with the ocean protos, how they're just different colors. You know, Mike has the, the purple one. That one looks really great. You know, it's uh, it's really unique. Mm -hmm. You know, if someone you see someone else with it, you know exactly which board it is. Yeah, uh, and actually that's the cool part is the green on the protos. I think there were three or four green ones. Uh, that green is not what we offered in the group buy, so uh, those, those will stand out. That blue will stand out. It's a little bit lighter than the group buy blue. Um, there was only one black one, so and that's also why I put the designation on the uh, on the weight, just to if anybody ends up with them, you know they'll know. Hey, this is a prototype board versus the actual group buy board. And again, it wasn't to create, you know, uh, a false value. It was literally just I want to be able to designate which ones are which and and who has them. And like I said, if they ever end up making it in the aftermarket, someone will know. Hey, I own. One of the prototypes. Oh, damn it. I did this. I always do this with these. <sighs> Legitimately, I hate, I hate stabs. But they're necessary. <laughs> but it's also 2020, or 2021, almost 2022. Why do we not have a better design for stabilizers? <laughs> Can someone answer me that? Matthew says it'd be fun to do like a keyboard version of library book checkout history. Yeah, I, I agree fully. Um, I think that'd be really awesome and something that someone should take the reins on. <clears throat> Cough. All right, so Christian, I've got a ton of holes here. Um, so the most uh, far left one is where the seven you will start. Okay, and then it'll go to this, like, weird half hole right here. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it. Yeah, the Sorry. 7U only has, like, one config, so okay. if you start with the left, uh, gotcha. you'll know where it lines up. Okay, that makes sense. Get that in there. I'll start with that side first. Then we can put, let's, uh, let's screw that in. And then we can worry about the... And I'm uh, I'm purposely taking my time tonight. I don't want to keep you too long. I hope you I hope I don't. Um, but I just kind of want to take this nice and slow. Because if you remember correctly, I built the ocean polycarb in like 20 minutes. I like hauled through that. So I'm not trying to do that again. Look at this. Like I said, I want to. Make sure I give you good feedback. Oops, need the washer. It's probably important. Um, yeah, give you good feedback so that you can take that back to the lab, if you will. But so far, so yeah, good. No, I'm yeah, so far, so good. Definitely excited to hear what you have to say. Watch me hate it. <laughs> not really. I'm not too worried. Yeah, hopefully not. Which I do have to show off these switches, these ice, uh, I don't remember what I call, what uh, Alas called them. She said they were ice something. Um, I will have to show off the springs on these because they're, they're ridiculous. Um, she called them, ice rims. Um, so I'll show them. They actually kind of go with the build a little bit because of the, the pink nature to the stems. Um, they are lubed and filmed, but let me open one of these up because you have to see this spring. It's ridiculous. Uh, let's grab one up from right here, stock one. This is like the weirdest thing I think I've ever seen in the Switch in terms of like size. Move this out of the way, sorry. Got a lot going on in this desk. So I've got the uh, got the switch opener here, which uh, low key these TKC switch openers are actually really nice. Speaking of magnets, all right. So um, there's the housing, there's the stem. Oops, this spring length is ridiculous, uh, <laughs> and the best way I can show you. is how high that stands up out of the housing. 
Uh, they're super nice. Like I typed on them already on a on a hot swap board, but that spring is ridiculous. Gnarly, you say that's nothing? Check out lightweight V2s. All I know is uh, lubing these and then putting them back together with films was a real, real pain in the balls. Like a like a very painfully slow process. So just FYI. But I'll check those out. Lightwave V2s. But I guess the question is, are the light waves good? That's what really matters. And by the way, speaking of magnets, thank you, TKC. I have the Lightwave V1s. Um, they're okay, I think. Um, I don't know if I ever even, like, lubed them on my own. I think they came pre-lubed, but okay. I thought they were okay stock. Um, but I haven't tried the V2s. Yeah. I'm, uh... I'm behind, like, I feel bad. I have yet to try Lavenders, for example. I know everybody raves about them, but they're, if I recall, they're kind of pricey. Um, and I like cheaper switches, and Alas has yet to steer me wrong, so I just use her for, for my switch needs. All right, let's get this other one in. You're too good for your hole. In the words of... Gilmore. And I think Christian, you said you're in your uh, you're in your mid twenties, right? Uh, early, I guess okay. technically. Okay. Uh, actually, my birthday is uh, in December here, in about nice. a month. Uh, nice. so I'll be twenty four then. Okay. Yeah. Well, early early twenties. There's a. It's weird because there's a slight generation gap between like me and you. Um but I find that you are, not to make you feel weird, but you're very mature and you, you've kind of got the right idea and good head on your shoulders. So I when I make references, I'm, I'm like, man, am I too old already for some of this? Like, yeah, like, I try. I like try to be a happy stable Gil person. Happy Gilmore references. All right, come on. Screw. Don't start with me. Oh, my God. I'm going to, all right. Let me start it by hand, maybe. There we go. God. I'd find a way to fix this too with with stabs like have a better mounting process there we go alright so in my opinion the two hardest parts the encoder looks good yeah it looks like a little bit of flux not solder material and then one stabilizer I mean, oh, uh, Gnarly says they're not really great. I mean, yes, except they actuate at 0.4 millimeters. They're great otherwise. But yeah, actuating keys by banging on the table is annoying. I would assume it would be, honestly. <laughs> I would assume that. So, um, as I said, I've got my all my switches here. I think I lubed one extra just in case. I am going with a, a lubed and film silent alpaca for the space bar. Um, that's my one thing I'm going to do for sure. Um, but as I've stated multiple times, I like a silent switch in the big bar. So outside of that, though, it is time to put this together. I had to think about that orientation for a minute. <laughs> All right. Let's start putting some switches in. Hopefully they fit in the plate. No worries there. Maybe. Okay, yeah, these are going to be tight. Uh, but that's okay. That's kind of what I wanted. Um, and I'm going to think I'm going to do the corners first since it looks like they'll sit in the plate okay, but it doesn't look like the, the mounts are going to hold it in the PCB at the moment. Yeah, let's get the corners in first. Clear solder mask, good. Yes, it is. How you doing tonight, Chrome? Good to see you in here. Uh -oh. Yeah, this is the concern with filming. They were super tight when I were when I was closing the films and stuff. So I figured they may give me some issue trying to get them into the plate. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> Make sure all these are closed. I really I, I probably didn't need to film these if I'm honest with myself, but What films did you use? Uh Deskies. Cool. Yeah. Uh, there we go. I use Deskies for the most part as well. Yeah, they're really nice and they're thick and um, I'm just gonna go, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and put all these in here. I think it's just gonna take some force. There we go. Yep. And then, like I said, I'll solder in the corners and then start working my way around the board. Yeah, this is just a tight plate too. I'd maybe, uh, I, I think if if you're gonna go with the same plate file, I'd maybe just open these up like just a hair they're a little tight um i don't know if you had if you had trouble with that with your switches or not there we go uh, mine weren't too bad um okay. like i said i recognize that these are these are gonna be tight because they're filmed um getting them out may be next to impossible <laughs> but i don't i'm not planning on swapping these out anytime soon so just no, no worries there there we go. That one went in easy. Yeah, okay. So was, uh, were all the components from PCBWay? Uh, no, so those plates are actually from LaserBoost, um, but other than that, uh, everything is, uh, well, except for the, uh, the PCB. Uh, right. That is, uh, from Oshpark. Oshpark, I haven't heard of them. Yeah, they do the. They're more famous for the purple PCBs. Oh, okay. Yeah, but other manufacturers are starting to do that as well now. Uh, same with the clear solder mask and black core FR4. Yeah. Oh my goodness. There we go. Yeah. Um, if I ever want to get these out for any reason, I'm probably gonna have to cut them. <laughs> uh. but they sit snug, which is really nice. <laughs> They're not going anywhere. And, I, and I'm and i sweating, uh, so I, I fully expect this to start patinating, uh, doing its patina thing in like days. <laughs> rain, I think it was Rain or TJ said give it a salt bath. <laughs> I was like, I'm not trying to rush it that much, honestly. I might do that with my way. Um, I should have a couple of spare copper plates that I might test it out on first uh, but the patina look looks amazing yeah I think it would go really well with the, the acrylic uh, Matthew no these these are not these are uh, these are called ice rims I don't know who makes them uh, alas sold them to me um, they're just standard Lanier's. They're actually really smooth out of the box, but I lube them with uh, 205 grade zero and filmed them with Deskies films. Um, but I have a silent V2 alpaca for the space bar. So, there we go. I don't know if you could audibly hear that click uh, when it was going in, but that was very tight. It's worse than a... Uh... Never mind. That's a really bad saying. I shouldn't say that. I have a daughter. I need to be better. <laughs> I used to. Uh, I used to use some phrases in high school, like uh, "sweating worse than a whore in church." Um, <laughs> you know, some other bad ones like that as well. Oh, fine. I Alas has more than that. Just in terms of like all the time she's constantly got stuff that she's rotating or trying to sell or um yeah if you need switches i would go to her and she can steer you in the right direction for some ones that you're like man these are only 30 cents a piece are they worth it yes uh, i promise you she's not going to steer you in the wrong direction sorry alas if i overload you with business but like i was saying on tuesday night on my stream she used to live near me or at least she went to school near me, and uh, I would just drive over for like my switch hookup. I'd, I'd order a bunch, and 
when like it was like a 35 minute drive so when enough of them came in i'd just schedule with her and drive over and pick up like three or four bags of switches which i always thought was funny when your kid starts repeating bad words you learn real quick yeah um, <laughs> um dan it's funny you mentioned that um my dogs bark a lot for like no reason and uh, the other night i was like shut up and then sure enough like two seconds later shut up i'm like oh god oh nice good stuff dan yeah for those that have not heard for whatever reason um even though dan's been hanging out in these streams previously uh dan lives very close to me uh i built i'm the, his mb44 is the one i built on stream uh the blue one with the uh Xylance, the V2 Aqua Xylance, which were really nice, um, and the SA Godspeed keycaps. That that build came out aesthetically as like one of my favorite builds I think I've ever done. Uh, everything just matched up so well. The blues all went together, um, and obviously on top of it being the MB44, it's just a good board. So props to you, Dan, for the way you picked that out. Although I think you just said you got Cat Alpha recently, uh, correct? Good night, sweetheart. I love you. I'll see you later. Okay, we'll check on her in the morning. Sorry, wifey, wifey going to bed. <laughs> uh, Dan, uh, speaking of, I don't know what your Saturday schedule looks like, but you're more than welcome to, uh, to swing by for the garbage truck build, if you'd like. That's an open invitation. All right, so the thumbs are a little sore. I'm going to pause here for a second. <laughs> this is my fault. Um, and then you're going to have to help me with the bottom row, Christian, just so I make sure. I think it's only yeah. like two and one, right? Like there's only, it's like a one, uh, one U? One point, yeah. 1.25? 1 1.25 on both sides. Yeah, so there's two 1.25s on the left and then one on the right. Okay, okay, perfect. And then with the split space, it gets a little a little wonky, right? It's a different plate completely, and and that's what you're, yep. that's what you're trying to work on right now, right? Yeah, I'm trying to work on getting the plates all situated. i um, going to do a couple of half plates uh, to kind of give a little, bit, a little bit more flex. I've... Uh, Got the PCB with flex cuts as well. Um, okay. Mostly routed. Just need to do a couple more things, and I should be good to go. Nice. Um, from a from a uh, layout perspective, it looks like the more popular vote for the split space was to have two point seven five on the left. Correct. I think yeah. it was like two to one. Actually, was the vote. <laughs> It was it was pretty far uh, towards 2.75 on the left. Yeah, that's that was like the original layout was mm -hmm. split space, and that was the only thing I did because that was the only layout I was gonna use okay. uh, when I like initially made the PCV. So I didn't like think anything of it of having it the other way around or anything like that. So it just kind of stuck around. All you all you weird left left thumb spacers. Right is clearly I'm superior. I'm left-handed, so it okay. just it just kind of goes. Yeah, well, like I said, right hand is superior, but that's fine. You you lefties can be weirdos. My sister. Fortunately, it has to be that way. <laughs> Live in a, a right-hand world. That's right. There's like left-handed scissors. There's left-handed uh, pens. There's all sorts of stuff, right? Yeah, and like left-hand scissors, those are. I can't use those for some reason. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I have a pair, and they just don't cut the way I want them to. I guess I've just gotten so used to right-hand scissors. Left space is the way. My wife is a righty, uh, but she left spaces. So um, when I I actually didn't know that until I built her her or well built her, uh, tuned her novel keys in K65, and uh, she was showing me. I was like, wait a minute. Do you type with the space with your left hand? She's like, yeah. So like, I had to when I handed her like a split space forty, I had to make sure like the bigger bar was on the left or that she had better access to it. 
Um, that's the o that's my only complaint about the SP Mini, is that the right right space bar is a little short, um, and it forces me to to bring in my thumb a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. Dan, you said you'll be downtown. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll set up something. Like I said, I'm gonna have plenty of builds coming up. You're more than welcome to come over and chill, have a beer, hang out in the background, like literally right here. It's fine. Should have done the three U layout on the uh, on which build, Matt. SP Mini. Uh, I think the plate file I had, or the plate I had, did not allow for that, if I recall correctly. Plus, I didn't have the... This 3U requires different stabilizers, right? Requires a different bar? Yep, 3U has different... Yeah, they're a little bit bigger. Uh, wires. Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay, Dan. Yeah, you're... I knew you are big into Warhammer from your Instagram. Oh my goodness, is this one going to fight me? Oh boy. <laughs> this one's really stuck in there. Um, that's why I said this one's going to be... I need to fix something to help. Nope. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. I will say this poor Rama switch puller has been used and abused. Yeah, the original one, I don't like as much. It seems a little bit too flim flimsy to yeah, me. Yeah, uh... it is occasionally. Um, I got this other one. I don't remember where I got it from, but it's not great either. Let's see how badly the, I The newer this. Rama ones are pretty good. They're a lot thicker. Hold up. This was fully closed. I don't... That was... That's weird. I may, I may come back to that switch. Like I said, I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Uh-oh. One, two. I actually may have to... Maybe I counted this exactly right? Oh, God. We'll see. <laughs> there we go. It is way too hot in here, by the way. I, I had the heat... I have the space heater down here in the basement because it gets kind of cool. And I didn't expect it to be 70-something here in Atlanta today. Um, it, like, woke up. It was, like, four, it was like in the high 40s. So I was like, oh, it'll be a cool day. And... I turned that heater off, like, before I started streaming. It's still hotter than hell in here. Yeah, where I'm at, it was a pretty good day, too. Earlier in the week, it was, it was colder, but today it was pretty warm. Trying not to, like, bend this plate. Again, this is my fault. I should have just used a better switch. <laughs> or one that didn't require such tight film, film requirements. Also, it gets harder and harder as you get more switches in because you start stabbing yourself in the thumbs. All right, I'm going to put that wonky one probably over here because it'll fit better, I think. <laughs> Actually, it might be this hole, dude. I'm kind of thinking that might be the case because it's the same one. Um, let's do this. Let's, let's get this together here. There we go. Now everything's starting to click into place, if you will. Yeah, I'm definitely looking to uh, widen those holes a little bit. Yeah, not much. Like, maybe, maybe like an eighth of a millimeter. They don't need a lot. Um, I actually kind of miss the old uh, the switch cutouts the, on the side, the little uh, dents, the, um, so that you can take the tops off. But yeah, um, I'll come back to this one in a second. So 1.25, 1.25, which means this will be the furthest over, correct? I think. Yes. Yeah. So it'll be closer to the space bar. Actually. Let's do this. Let's um, let's figure out. I think this goes there. Let's be smart. Let's pull out the keycaps. 
which I reorganized all my keycaps today um, because I have eight boxes of Space Cadet sitting over to my right at the moment. Yes, eight boxes. I went hard on Space Cadet. Um, all, it looks great. It looks. I'm super happy with it. Uh, all three alpha options, uh, blue, gray, and mono, um, 40s mods, 60 mods, um, accents, space bars, numpad, uh, and something else. I, like, I went hard. <laughs> uh, I didn't get novelties, though. I should have gotten novelties. Um, yeah, so black or blue? I'm going to go blue. I think the blue, because I'm going to do the uh, accented escape on here. So we'll do blue 7U and cat. Which I don't remember who I picked this set up from, but I picked it up from someone on the 40s Discord. Um, with the, these are the otter icons. Yeah, because they're white. They're otter. Um, and then the, the regular white alphas. I really like this set. And I had it on the SP Mini for a hot minute, so. All right, let's make sure. Yep, this was right, so. I should double check this, shouldn't I? With the with the one point two fives. Yeah, I would go ahead and do that just yeah. so you don't have to go through the pain of possibly desoldering and yeah. not being able to get that switch out. And you said th it's three total one point two fives for the seven U layout. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, control. And you bring up a great point about the getting the switch out <laughs> it didn't even cross my mind for some reason let's put um, i think it goes this way right yeah uh oh nope i think it goes to the one over right nice that space bar looks crooked I'll, I'll come address that in a minute yeah it's slightly crooked i think that's just a cat issue oh no we're good okay i think it's the shadows the shadows aren't helping all right so let's see if we can let's see if it's this uh this switch hole that's the issue I think this one might just be a hair tight and I might just have to put a lot of force in here. Yep. There we go. All right. Hey, look at that. I'm seeing pins for everything. So we're good there. I think it's time to start soldering. Exciting. Nice. Take these off for a second. We'll come back to the keycaps. I will say I'm not uh, I'm not in love with how loose these Durox uh, stabs are sometimes when they're fully up, but I understand that just kind of comes with the territory. I wish they were. I wish the the clearances were a little tighter personally, but that's just, that's nothing that any of us can do at the moment. But I understand they have to have some give when you're pulling off the space bar, but yeah, dude, this looks awesome, by the way. Um, again, I know it's hard to see on this camera, and I will upgrade cameras eventually, but um, yeah. That switch choice is 
looking really good. I know. I'm, I'm pretty well. I, it, it's almost like a one for one. Um, and I'm super, super happy with that outside of this one, which I could have gone clear housing on the silent, but silent alpacas are good the way they are. I didn't want to mess with it. So, um, yeah, super pleased with how this looks and very excited. It does look like the plate. I might, I might've bent the plate just a little bit. Um, but I don't think I have to worry too much with the way the case holds itself together in the gaskets, right? Yeah. Yeah. It should, um, should kind of strain out a little bit depending okay. on how I'm, I'm, it I'm not it's not bad I'm, I'm just I'm a perfectionist so it's like I got a theme going yeah that wasn't quite the plan Dan but it worked out that way so I'll, I'll take it uh, but these gaskets are cool and I and uh, I'm very interested to see how this works so let's uh, let's get to soldering real fast I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just raw dog this um, tonight I'm not messing with the fan oh, let's turn it this way all right solder time let's go this iron is very hot even by the handle good lord what do you uh what temp do you normally solder at I have like not messed with my temperature settings at all. It's probably a little too hot. I think it's 750 Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius, but that's, yeah, it's like what it came at stock and I was yeah, like, eh, it works. That's like super high. I'm at like 535, somewhere around there. I do 635 uh, for um, desoldering. But I don't, I don't mess with this really. 320c best temp yeah i remember when i first started rain um i used to i don't remember whose whose video i think it was uh jack from olkb actually he was talking about what temps you should be at and how important it is and all that so i, I think that was like my original reference but what i found was uh at like 400 and change uh, fahrenheit I wasn't getting really good melting, so I upped it to 530, and this is kind of what I've always used. And knock on wood, I haven't like burned anything off, so let me move this out of the way for the moment. Gently set. That. I haven't had any issues at uh, at the temps I'm doing, but I've got experience with soldering. I used to kind of solder some things before keyboard, so okay. Uh, plus, I've just had a lot of practice with all the boards I built, so. Sure. Yeah, well, I, I, like, obviously now, like, with the years of experience that a lot of us have had, we've built a lot of boards, and, um, you know, I've, I've soldered other things, too. Like, I found soldering wires to be so tedious. Um, like, I've done some lighting projects for some friends, but, yeah, um, I, before this hobby, I never, never soldered before, so this was a new skill I picked up. Along with coding, like, new people in the hobby these days have it easy with Via and File and even even QMK Configurator to a, to a degree, right? Unless you're, unless you're needing, like, specific RGB sequences or encoder support, um, you know, the ability to just plug in a board, use Via or Vial, and then all of a sudden you have it programmed is such a, like, godsend compared to what we had to go through with QMK and flashing and building your map and making sure it works and then running into all the errors and <laughs> yeah yeah via and vile make it really easy for newcomers to just get up and started i feel like um you know, even with bigger boards it's usually not even a, a big deal anyway because um you know if those come pre uh, pre-flash most people aren't changing the default key map on like a tkl right so I always laugh when uh, when people complain about layers on a 60, <laughs> and they're like, "God, it's hard. I, I don't, you know, I gotta put my arrows somewhere." And I'm like, "Please come step down a little further. Just step down a little further. I can teach you, but you gotta be open to it." Like uh, Dan in here, um, he's the one who uh, he jumped from my. I think you said Dan like a regular size to the MB44. So. Um, he made the jump, and I think he likes it so far because he bought keycaps for it. Three. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty big jump from full size to 40. I think it was full size, and I'm sorry if I misquoted you, Dan. It, I know it was a bigger board for sure. 
but you went right right for it, and I give you props for that. You just jumped right in. But like I said, I went from a stupid Dell membrane full size to and Pro, and then immediately to a uh, new 40 NIU, however you say, I think it's new, right? You say new, 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 one of those. Um, but yeah. yeah, yeah, I went straight to 40 ortho because <laughs> I wanted to uh -huh. challenge myself. Um, and I used it pretty proficiently. I got very good at it. So, um, yeah, was, was it went from... Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead, Christian. I went from a, uh, that uh the ampro and the poker three to a an ergo doc an ergo docs um, oh wow yeah i kind of wanted something new and out there so i went to ergo docs and then um i went to the soul two because i was like ah the the ergo docs has way too many thumb keys for me mm -hmm. um so i went to the soul two that reduced it down to like i think the perfect amount of keys i was looking for at that time um and then after that uh picked up a plank and I was like this is this is good that was like my first ever 40 mm -hmm. I was like I like this and so picked up I think like a Romeo after that um, and then just kept going further and further into it yeah it's it's uh you know everybody talks about the rabbit hole for keyboards and um look you like what you like I've, I've said this multiple times like I'm not judging if you like TKLs then that's what you like but I laugh because they're like, I went down the rabbit hole and I look and every single board is the same layout. Um, you know, ev everything is, is exactly the same in their collection. And I'm like, we, we go down like a real rabbit hole. Cause as you just kind of explained, you went from a standard stagger or like a standard stagger, you know, 60 to, uh, I guess technically an ergodox is a columnar stagger, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, and then you start dropping down further and further, less keys, and then you're all over the place. Like, like I told Andrew on on Tuesday, I can type on anything. Like, I I, I may be slow on ortho, but I can still I can still type on it. I can type on a pearl stagger. I can type on uniform standard, columnar, um, and I know a lot of people can't. I know that's hard to go between. So I, I respect those that make the jumps between standard stagger or go to ortho and make the commitment and all that it's uh it's kind of like a grind honestly yeah i love trying out different uh different layouts the split uh with a z split i don't kind of hard to say with a z but mm -hmm. that is probably the hardest stagger i've ever had to type on for me if i go from like a regular dagger um mm -hmm. straight to that it's like almost impossible but if I type on a regular ortho board first, yep. kind of get used to that and then go to it, I find it, it's uh, it's fine and I can type on it, but the staggers are so different, especially on the, the right hand side, because it's like inverted. Mm -hmm. it's, just the, uh, it's just the bottom row keys for me on a ortho that I struggle with, uh, and specifically the left side. Um, outside of that, I'm actually okay. But that's because I don't type correctly on the bottom row left keys uh, or, or right keys I should say well both on a standard stagger so I, I got taught with like a couple of wrong finger choices there we go Let me make sure that that pin was a little low in there but I think it's just um, I did notice here uh, there's two there's two uh, holes here what look like they would be for a, a LED um, what's that for? Uh, that's actually reset. I don't have it labeled. Okay, um, okay. I do have it labeled on my new design for the PCB. It's just, I knew what it was. Uh, and when I was creating these protos, I was like, I just left it alone. I think, um, which I still need to do it actually. I removed it, but uh, I need to go back and relabel all of the, the layout options on the bottom row. Okay. Yeah, I don't know who started that trend, but big shout out to... Uh to whoever did um super helpful uh when it's when you're building to know where the stabs go I, I know it was on the sp mini um i think it was on the mb44 so whoever started that trend big shout out by the way yeah speaking of the mb44 um 
Melon, I'm probably going to steal your idea of the labeled stab holes. I thought that was a brilliant idea. I don't think I've ever seen it on any other board. and um, Oh, sorry. It definitely that's... helps us. Yeah, that's what I was talking about more specifically. Um, that's with, with so many options now, that that was super, super helpful. And I think that was on the SP Mini. That's what I was saying. That's the only other place I've seen it. But yeah, please please take that um, if you if you can slap that on these PCBs for the group by people, I would. Um, super helpful. I love this PCB honestly with the with the clear mask. It looks so good. But then again, black yeah. and, black and copper just looks good too. So. Yeah, that was the theme I was sort of going for with this. Uh, it's kind of like all copper. Um, for the group buy though, I probably will just to keep cost down because the sure. clear solder mask is just so expensive. Um, probably go with like a, a black solder mask. Um, what's the unless uh, people? What's the price oh, difference ahead. between clear and and like a black or your standard options? It's I haven't looked at. Um, any like sizable amounts i just know like um osh park where i got these from they sell them in like three you can get like a run of three boards mm -hmm. which is like a hundred and something for just those three and they don't come like a symbol or anything right um but if you're looking at um just like regular black solder mask pcbs it's way way cheaper a fraction wait, 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 of the cost wait. did you hand solder this board yeah, I hand assembled that whole thing. Damn, I couldn't tell. That looks amazing. I'll show that on camera. Your your MCU soldering looks fantastic, dude. Thanks. Yeah, I I am thoroughly impressed. I, actually, it's funny because when you said that just now, uh, the first thing the first thing my eyes went to were the diodes, um, and one of them just happen to be this one right here where I can see just a hair more solder than like any of the others and there's one back here too um that's hilarious but no that's your I'll show that off your MCU looks fantastic so nice nicely done thanks I try to uh, assemble all of my protos uh, just to keep costs down um one stop shop yeah I need to need to uh change up some of the footprints to make them a little bit smaller uh, for assembly. Gotcha. Well, like I said, the dueling guide, so let's make sure this one's all the way in. There we go, I heard that click. Nice. All right, I think, I think this should be done. I will go back at some point and take some, uh, some rubbing alcohol and clean this up because this is too pretty not to have perfectly clean but let's uh let's get that mcu in focus there come on come on come on come on there we go look at that that is some clean work ladies and gentlemen and dan i'm sorry i didn't see your chat i was head down doing this uh but your first board was a poker two and then you had a TKL, and then took a break, and then came back with the KBD 67 and discovered 40s. That's cool. That's cool. And the Adele, uh, the Adele, the Adelaide brought you in, which is neat. Yeah, that's super tidy, man. That looks fantastic. So, but all right, uh, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, four, six, eight, 32, four, six, eight, 42, four, six, eight. 50, 2, 4, 6, 8, 60, 2, 4, 6, 8, 70, 2, 4, 6, 8, 80, 2, 4, 6, 8, 90. 90 divided by 2 is 45 switches. 7 new layout should have 45. Minus the, if you uh, if you don't put one up here. This this gives you the option for both, right? Or is it just only rotary? Uh, just only rotary okay. up there. Okay, so yeah, so 45 switches for 7 new layout uh, plus a rotary encoder, so... This looks, yep, nice, cool. I, I really, really do, I can't believe I managed to match theme. This this truly was like unintentional. I wasn't trying to do that. 
Um, I just knew that I had these ice rim switches that I wanted to use in something. And uh, after doing the MB44 with the Kang buys and having the garbage truck also be top mount FR4 plate, I was like, I gotta put the Kang buys in the garbage truck for sure. Like there's no question. Um, but but these just happen to be sitting here and they're good Lanier's and I was like, I gotta put them on in something. So this worked out really, really well. Um, I promise that was not intentional, but hey, I'll take it. Oh, and I did want to show something because we were talking about Space Cadet earlier. Space Cadet on the elephant looks fantastic. I am like super happy and it changed the sound profile. It's way more thocky now. So super pleased. Yeah, uh, Keegan, I, it, I think we are calling it an exploded escape. And when, uh, when Christian first brought this layout to me, I was like super fascinated by it because A, um, I like having the extra um, key next to L on like a bigger than 12U layout. And dedicated arrows is always good. Uh, rotary is nice, but definitely a neat, neat board. So I was very excited. All right, so Christian, I've got this, uh, let's, let's say I've got this soldered. Um, everything looks good. I like that I can put it together, technically, um, and test it. And I, and, and this kind of goes back to your reset. That's what I was thinking earlier. So the reset's here. Um, if this was a board with like four to six screws, I'd, I'd obviously like be really concerned about testing it beforehand. Um, but with it being magnet case... I'm actually not, which is really, really great. So um, this is cool. It's, and I'm not as stressed about trying to make sure everything works. <laughs> yeah, so I've actually already made a change to, I moved the, the reset and, and I put a hole in the plate. It's like right between the up and the down arrows uh, so that you can reach it without Perfect. even having to take the case apart. Okay. Um, for this, I think I'll, I'll use, I know it'll, you'll see the black through the case. I really don't care. I just, I think it looks clean. Um, I'll use the wrapped, uh, protected, uh, cable, if you will. And then got the small piece of tape. So, um, you're thinking just put the, put the tape here on the back and then slap it on right there and, and then we should be good. Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's. That fits nice and shit. Fits nice and snug. <laughs> um, come here. There we go. Cool. Uh, Dan asks, "Will this board's case come in other colors or material, or the or the magnets kind of determine that?" Uh, I'll let you answer that since I know we talked about that a little bit uh, at the beginning. Yeah, so right now, um, looking to do like aluminum uh, in a few different colors. Um, I'm thinking that I see I have four different colors, um, kind of like a wine magenta, um, like a darker color, um, a lighter blue, um, a gray, and then um, obviously the acrylic, as well as like a, a lavender color, which I think would turn out really great. Um, I might cut the uh, aluminum colors down a couple just to keep down on the amount of combinations. Uh, but we'll we'll see. We'll see what people want and what people are feeling. Awesome. Hope that answers for you, Dan. And if you truly are jumping down the rabbit hole, uh, hopefully this is one you consider. Although let me build it and type on it before I give Christian all the props. <laughs> Um, all right, there we go. Cool. That is nice. You can see that stick on there. It's nice and stuck with the tape. It lines up very nicely with the whole... Dude, I need a better camera. This is killing me. But yeah, it's, it's perfect in there. You guys can't see that, so... 
cool, cool. Okay, uh, let's run the cable. Uh, pens are always at the top. Okay, um, is there anything I need to be, like, should I put the top, uh, or this in the top case first and then flip it on? What's, what's your suggested method here? That's what I would do, put it in the top case first. Um, and then flip it on because those magnets are a little bit strong so just to prevent from scratching anything gotcha yeah as, as i was showing in the beginning the uh this is gonna sit like that okay i mean i just bought the wife a second keycap set still waiting on the first one Okay, so we're in, I think we're lined up in there, and then just kind of drop it in. Yep. <laughs> that's so sorry. That's just a that's a that's a neat and unique experience. Uh, just not something I'm used to. <laughs> hey, it's Mechmaller. Hey, thank you for the raid and uh, welcome, welcome. Um, that's, that's awesome. Welcome, young homie. How are you guys doing tonight? I mean, you guys came at the perfect time. Um, I'm assuming Mech saw the uh, saw the Instagram story. I hope he did. How are you, bud? Um, hey, for those of you that my socials are on the starting and ending screen, I do post uh, when I'm going to stream on Instagram. So if you're on Insta, um, you can always check there. I'll probably tell you if I'm streaming or not. But um, yeah. I'm good. I'm good, Muller. Um, and Maker Jake, hey man, how are you? Welcome. Um, so if you guys uh, aren't aware, I've got uh, Christian, aka Young Zeus, the designer of the paintbrush, uh, here with me on voice. Um, I'm building his prototype. This is a milled acrylic, uh, copper plate, copper weight, gasket mounted, 45%, with exploded escape and rotary encoder and dedicated arrows. Did I cover all that, Christian? That sounds about it. Yeah, uh, and you guys literally just came in as I put together the case. I just got done soldering it. These are uh, called um, ice rim switches, uh, long spring laniers, uh, lubed and filmed. I have a silent alpaca V2 in the space bar. Um, but what's really cool about this board is it's screwless. Um, oh my God, okay. So, oops. Yeah, I don't want to yank the daughter board. So we've got a, uh, got a daughter board down here, but this is a copper plate with um, thin gaskets on top, thick on the rear. Yeah, it's it's this is beautiful. And what's what's really cool is so it's screwless. And I was just showing everybody, um, put the top case in like this. Oh, there we go. And closes with magnets. Uh, these magnets are super strong. I'm literally lifting by the top of the case. Um, I haven't weighed this yet, Christian. Let me do that. Let's see what this thing weighs, Bill. Oh, we don't want fluid ounces. All right, so freedom units. Two pounds, 13 ounces, 13 and a half ounces, uh, or 1,294 grams. So decently hefty. Um, a lot of that all coming from the weight, obviously. Uh, but yeah, this, uh, this magnet system is awesome. Um, and you can't see it, but the, the weight is held in with magnets too. So no screws, no hardware, which actually I really, really like so far. Um, this is super, super nice. And I think we're going to get ready to, to throw the key set on it. I'm going to go with Cat Arctic tonight. Um because I've got a, a knob that matches and makes sense. So yeah, this is a this is a really cool board. Uh, again, big shout out to Christian, AKA Young Zeus for uh, letting me build this on stream. Um, I can already see there's a little bit of flex too. This is cool. Um, yeah, thanks for building it and showing it off. Yeah, man, uh, this, seven use, this seven use sounds good. There's no no clicks, no, no uh, rattles, control, system, 
alt just because we already had those out let's uh let's knock these out get the alphas on there oh christian you might have another interested person is what dan just said thank you thank you happy that you're interested let me get to the typing experience first, then we'll go from there. <laughs> not that I'm, I'm not that I would worry if I were you, dude. We'll go with the accented escape up there. Um, for those of you on Mech, from Mech Mauler stream, uh, for what it's worth. Um, I specialize in 40s and 45% keyboards mostly. Um, I'll build 60, 65, 70s higher. I don't mind. Um, I do do commission-free builds, so if you have one that you want done, I don't charge for it. I'm happy to split the shipping with you, um, just kind of an FYI. But I do interviews. Uh, so I interviewed Wallet Burner on Tuesday, uh, which was really awesome. And uh, yeah, um, I've got hopefully on deck here in the next couple of weeks, Tiny makes things. Uh, she should be on on board for an interview. I've already interviewed Kubacek and uh, Project Kane, uh, designer of the Phoenix, um, and some other really cool boards coming out. So appreciate you guys, especially you, Mech uh, Raiden, and and hanging out here while I, while I build this. Um, this would be really really cool. I'm a, uh, I'm a quote guy here. I know people put semicolon, but I put quote there. I'm a weirdo like that. Oh, good. Shift is here. By the way, uh, cat Arctic looks really good on here, dude. <laughs> it's looking good so far. But then again, like milled acrylic and polycarb, any like light sets or... Um, neutral sets tend to look very good. Like, I was going to cheat if uh, if Paperwork had a 7U, I would have put Paperwork on here in a heartbeat. And the other one I was going to think about was um, Cam Little Pilot, but uh, it doesn't have a 7U, so. And I'm sticking with the 7U theme. Yeah, can't wait for uh, DCS Paperwork. That's going to look yeah, absolutely um, amazing. Is that closed yet? I still think I have to buy that. I don't know, I think it might be open for a couple more days. I forgot the timeline on that. Yeah. I wish I had the accented arrows. That's my only regret. <laughs> I don't have those, but that's okay. This is down. This is left. Uh, and then at 1.5 enter, and then I gotta figure out what I'm putting here. I'll figure that out in a second. Is there a particular preference towards DSA, or is it just ease of compatibility? Um, for me, personally, I like uh, DSA for boards that are not angled, uh, flat, you know, along those lines. That's my preference. Um, and I do like it for the compatibility a lot of times, right? There's, if you, if you are designing a set, it requires less. Um, so, personally, I like that. DCS has been great because it's basically sculpted DSA. Um, I think a lot of people agree with that. Oops, that's the wrong key. Um, what's your preference, Christian? What do you, what do you like? I, I know you've had Cherry slash OEM on, on your protos so far. Yeah, um, Cherry and, uh, SA are, like, my two favorite profiles. I like the look of SA a lot more, um, but I know compatibility with a lot of sets is just not there for 40s. Yeah. Um, so... But uh, Cherry and SA are both great. Uh, I especially love SP SA, mm -hmm. like Max Keys um, and Dami Key. I don't like it as much. Uh, it's just like the shape is a little too sharp, I think. Okay. Um, but still not bad. All right, I gotta figure out what I'm putting here. Um, I think I ran into this issue with the SP Mini is that there's no like good modifiers to put on the side right there. Um, maybe just like low, lower and raise. I think those might be the, the 
best options. Um, yeah, I'd... for me, I put uh, home and end over there, but there is no uh, row three home, so it's, it's yeah. all out of whack. Yeah, there's no home and end here either, because <laughs> uh, it's the 40 set. So, um, yeah, I'll probably use this one. Is there a... Yeah, actually, I think this might work. Does it go this way? It doesn't matter. They're kind of the same. Uh, they're the same. I don't want to do that. Um, I, so this is my one thing. I'm like a stickler about like having too much of the same key on board, um, which I know is kind of weird, but it's sort of just a different... I don't care if I use like a weird tab or something like that, like upside down. That could work. Um, yeah, just bear with me here, guys. Uh, so this is row four, technically. That's the right row there. I guess it really doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> I'm, I should not care. But I should just use like a row three. Uh, do I have an artisan I can use? Not really. I was going to throw an artisan there, maybe. This is the one downside. So this, uh, I will say this 40 set for Cat Arctic. Uh, lacking a couple keys that I would personally have myself. Um, so anyone that's interested in finding it on the aftermarket, just be aware. Um, it's got some compatibility issues from a 40 standpoint. FYI. <laughs> you know what? This works. I don't really care if it's a shift. That works. Okay. And then, oh, the knob. <laughs> the fun part, right? <laughs> yeah, Keegan. Uh, yeah, different, different angles depending on the row. So I know this knob doesn't quite match, but it's like the closest one I have. So otherwise we're, we're using some form of yellow and I don't think yellow, I think that clashes too much. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, Keegan, there's no, there's no, no apologies for noob questions in my stream. Uh, you're more than welcome to ask AKA noob questions. Uh, it's how we all learn. So yeah, sculpted means uh, profile. So let's see if I can kind of show it. Um, although this isn't the greatest. Um, as you can see, they're different heights. Sorry, I'm trying to get this to focus. So it's it's sculpted based on the um, on the shape. So like you'll have row one, well, row one is usually on 40s. 40s usually start at row two. Um, but in most key sets, it's row one, row two, row three, row four, row, uh, row four doubles uh because usually your bottom two rows are the same sculpt um if you're using something larger like with a num row or f keys you'll have row five uh which are sculpted like that actually the ocean's a good one to... so you can see how each one is is differently sculpted you have row two row three it's slightly different row four is much more harsh there sorry so no noob questions man it's all good that's why we're all here. All right. Which, by the way, this looks really good next to the polycarb ocean. I'm just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> um, but man, this this looks awesome, Christian. It really does. Um, and this keycap set goes really well with it. Again, there's that weight. Yeah, absolutely, Keegan, and welcome. By the way, Ashton, I see you in here. I hope you're doing well. I hope you can find your Dracula Minify kit. You and, like, everybody else. Which, by the way, don't forget that uh, that set is for sale. Uh, or It's on Group Buy Round 2. Uh, you'll have to wait a year, but at least you can get what you want. I know Minify did not sell well, so... Yeah, the... Um... Eccentric knobs, eccentric guitars for the knobs. If anybody needs an 18mm knob that fits basically every... Well, almost every keyboard. Um, please feel free. Justin, the owner, super awesome dude. 
Uh, he hooked me up with all the knobs for my group buy for Oceanographer. I have a ton of knobs here. Uh, these You can see the size difference, 18 millimeter versus the 14 millimeter for the ocean. Um, but he did some custom colors for me, including these ones, oops, losing screws, uh, these ones for DSA light cycle. They match perfectly, so. And I did drop a screw, I will have to go find that, those little tiny ass uh, knob screws. All right, so I want to get make sure this is programmed, Christian, and then we're going to um, put it on a typing test. I can already hear it sounds. Awesome. Yep. I hope this was a silent alpaca. That doesn't sound silent. Did I screw myself? <laughs> um these are supposed to be silent. I, oh, you know what? I I don't know that this is. Uh, so I'll leave this for now. I may come back and... Um, this isn't one. I have some uh, silent... Yeah, I got, I got to show you guys. I haven't shown people this yet. Um, I have this tray of, like, bastard switches. They're just extras, um, a little bit of everything, you know, whatever I've thrown in there. And I've been pulling, for the most part, um, like I have these, uh, silent gat inks. Yeah, this is silent. Um, so I'll probably end up putting this in. I didn't realize that that was a standard alpaca. I don't know why I didn't realize that, but that's fine. I'll fix that myself. Like I said, that's just a preference thing for me. Um, I don't think it takes away from anything though, personally. Yeah, at least you won't have to desolder the whole thing to get to no. the stabs. No, and, and I fixed my desolder gun. Um, it needed new, um, filters on the back end. But yeah, that sounds so. The normal keys outside of the spacebar sound amazing. Um, so let's do this. Let's open up Vile, and then I'll put this in there in a little bit. I think this one is lubed, or I will lube it and film it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't recognize the oceanographer yet. Setting up paintbrush. Have you thought about doing um, any type of like indicator LED or anything on the uh, PCB? I have thought about it. Um, I would probably put it, you know, obviously in the like between the backspace and the, the dom and everything. Okay. I personally don't use indicators. Um, like I'll set them up on boards like the Cajal um, or you know like the garbage truck, but I actually don't really look at them or anything. Okay. Um, so it's not something I included, but uh, I'm not opposed to it. Okay. I uh, just throwing that out there um, because I know like I I notice on the ocean when I plug it in, obviously I get the screen and then the indicator RGBs over here. Um, same with a couple other boards. It's super helpful. So just kind of throw that out there. Let's see, let's side load. I think I have to refresh first, right? I'm not good with, uh, there we go. Okay, it did pull it up. I didn't need to have the hex, so um, let me see if I can share that. Maybe, I might not be able to, sorry. I'm just gonna double check this layout real fast and then I'll tweak it later. come back and mess with this um so you've got the knob set currently it says media play um is that just play pause for pressing and yes and then it looks like it's for rotation it's got uh, nothing set yet um i can't remember am i able to do that in uh vial can i set it for like volume yes um and i'm not i guess i didn't do it in the default key map before i like compiled it but uh yeah i have it or would have it set to volume up and volume down okay i'll see if i can see if i can find it in vial i actually don't remember how to do that oh and it's oh it's you know that's on the um here we go 70 layout there we go well this should be control so i use control here i know i have it labeled as tab i'm a i'm a left pinky control person <laughs> um this is tab for me 
and that's that's always been because I came from bigger boards. Um, tab right next to Q was like a no-brainer in my opinion. Uh, and then I'm a weirdo and I put an escape right here. So don't ask, but that's always been my thing. Um, it just makes it easy. I know a lot of people like escape where it is up here, but hey, no judgment, please. <laughs> um, all right, right, alt. Down. Let's see if I can set the volume. I don't know how to do that here. Should be under like mouse keys, right? Volume. Yeah, yeah so volume down, volume plus. Okay, perfect. Let's, uh, let's give it a test. Yep. Uh, you guys won't hear the difference, but it's definitely working. Yep, okay, cool. All right, so um, I've got this. Let's, let's call it, it's working. Um, let's see if we can get a little sound test. I'm gonna stop the stop the audio so you guys can hear that and Ashton you're correct sat 75 kind of made uh, encoder and OLED together kind of the thing I think enco the uh, encoder already had kind of taken off a little bit from there but all right let's see how this goes So uh, initial thoughts, Christian, from a um, feel perspective, uh, it feels good. They're, like it's it's a new it's a new one for me. Um, there's not a ton of give, but I can feel it because I'm a I'm a heavy typist. Um, I can feel it, kind of pressing. Uh, if that makes sense, like like I can feel a little give there. Uh, it's kind of nice. Um, these switches are also kind of funky. Um, yeah, so uh, with making the keycaps not as deep, I think that'll help it as well because the, the whole plate assembly will sit a little bit higher in the case. Um, as well as, you know, providing like half plate and uh, a flex cut PCB. These, uh, these switches almost feel... They almost feel tactile in some regard. I don't know if it's because they're getting squeezed because they were filmed and they're in a tight plate. Uh, I legit can feel like a bump. That's weird. I don't hate it, uh, but this is not what I was advertised. Um, <laughs> not the end of the world. Um, that's weird. This one feels linear. This one feels I, I don't I don't know that's uh that's my own issue uh, that's what I get for using switches that I'm not familiar with, um, but either way, it sounds good. Uh, Ashton, these are called ice rim. Um, they're a long spring linear supposedly. Um, I may have to reach out to Alas and find out why this feel like there's legit there's legitimately a bump in a couple of these. I I don't know why this J key especially. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure that out. So that's for another time. Um, and like I said, I have to get a silent switch in the space bar. Um, that's that's a me issue that's not a that's not a board issue that's not a christian issue that's a legit like what switches are you doing hey thank you for the subscription action i appreciate that thank you so much um you've been a you've been a good follower since we met at the carolina meetup so thank you so much um wow with prime and and two months thank you thank you so much man um 
yeah, Christian, this is not a you issue. This is a me issue. I, I might, in the next couple days, swap these switches out, and then I can give you additional feedback from there. So minus the switches, um, the feel is fantastic. Um, there's there's a little bit of give here, not a lot. Um, I think that honestly, cat sits nicely in this. I know you're worried about like how far these go down. Um, I think cat sits very nicely in this, but I know you've already said you've kind of made some adjustments to to bring this up just a little bit. Oso, thank you, welcome, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate that. Um, overall, my impressions of this board. Um, super unique. I love the layout. Um, and just doing something cool and different like Exploded Escape is really cool. Obviously, Exploded Arrows have been popular and even like two macro keys and the rotary. Um, but this layout, it looks good. You made the Exploded Escape kind of come up to the top without having to extend the bezels too high on the case itself, which looks really good. Like I'm talking from a face down view, right? You're not um, pushed up too high at all. Um, good good bezel size um overall the case height is is really comfortable it's not bad at, oops it's not bad at all it slipped out of my hand um what's the angle on this i like the angle uh it is seven degrees okay and i'm usually not a huge angle guy for for reference ocean is three degrees um but yeah this is Outside of the switches, which apparently are tactile now, um, this feels really, really good. I think it sounds amazing with Cat, which um, if you were in the Discord, 40s Discord earlier today, I posted a sound test with the elephant with Cat now. Um, it totally changed the sound. I had EPBT e black on white uh, on it earlier, and it sounded fine. Like, it was good. It wasn't great. Um, the, God, I hate using the word, Fock that came with cat or comes with cat uh sounds really really good on the elephant and here it's the same it's deep um this yeah and like i said i'll put a silent in here kind of drown out some of that noise it, like that's my thing um and i know i think it was mace or someone else said it in trash uh trash channel today um doing a silent switch in the big space bars because they tend to drown out the rest of the board which is true, and some people like that. I don't personally. I'm more of a let the keys sing and let the space bar kind of live in the background. Um, but overall, Christian, like this, this is super, super nice. I'm super humbled and honored that you uh, allowed me to build this on stream, give feedback publicly. I know that's like a, I, I can't imagine. Like I was nervous uh, when Jay built my ocean <laughs> on top clack, like. <laughs> oh my god 150 people are watching and like i hope he likes it and you know at the end he said it sounded great and he really liked it and he's not a 40s guy so that was like a huge deal yeah. um but thank you so much for letting me build this and and do this on stream it's it's a great board um it sounds like you've already addressed some of the things that are of concern from others and yourself uh in building your prototypes which is huge uh, I gave you a big shout out and props for taking feedback from uh, the community and in the way that the split space uh, setup would be done and taking a vote. Um, a lot of people would just straight up be like, no, I'm not changing it. <laughs> they, they're, they're stubborn and stuck in their ways, but you've you've legitimately said like, okay, hey, this is what people want. Um, and as you said, this is this, you kind of got what you want, right? So now how do you make it now how do you make it for the people? Um, and I hope you don't run into that wall that Andrew and I were talking about on Tuesday where you have your prototype and you're like, well, do I need to sell it? Because <laughs> um, I, I definitely hit that point, right, with the ocean. I was like, yeah. oh, I don't need to sell this. Um, this is a good board. Um, I like that, I'll call it feature rich, but it's like uh, no frills, right? Like I, I think when you right. compare it literally to the board right here, um, I kind of went all out except for gaskets and now i'm like almost wishing i made gaskets or could i might even look at finding a way to get something small to put between the plate and the case but um you know rotary oled speaker um brass everywhere it, like we went rgb indicators we went hard on this and yet at the same time um i think this stands up right along with ocean in terms of quality 
thought process, design. Um, it seems like you've put a lot of work into this. And again, I hope you stick with the copper for the group buy. Like I said, I know it doesn't show up on camera for a lot of you. Obviously, Christian, you know what it looks like in person, but uh, this is the color of a penny. It's not gold. This is the color of a penny. Um, and it looks amazing and it'll probably patina and that'll look amazing. Um, the plate is also copper. Uh, should look, it looks amazing. And then of course, just this idea of like magnets, like there you go. It's a part, right? Like no screws, no hardware, uh, no BS. Like that's the best way I can put it. Um, super, super pleased. This, this PCB looks amazing. I know you said you probably won't be able to do this for the group buy, but, um, the whole theme just really kind of stuck outside of using cat Arctic. So, um, thank you so much, man. Thank you. Seriously. This is a, this is a nice board. Um, it'll probably be on my desk. I'm probably going to take the MB 44 out of, uh, out of the rotation tomorrow. I'll probably use this all day tomorrow and give you some really solid feedback at the end of the day after putting it through its paces, if you will. Um, but yeah, anything you want to say to, to the viewers? Or the kind of, I kind of want to give you the floor for a minute since I've been talking so much and, and been building your, your project. Yeah, no. I, first of all, thank you for the, the kind words. I'm glad that you liked it and looking forward to hearing your you know extended feedback after using it for a while. Uh, not much that I have to say. Just um, if you are interested, I do have a, um, an IC channel out in the 40s Discord. So fill out that form there. It should be pinned. Uh, if you are interested, uh, the the copper is winning by a landslide. It's like probably <laughs> close to half, I think, right now. So that'll be the the choice for the group. But I really like the way it looks, and I think it's a a good choice. Yeah, that's a no brainer. <laughs> um, it's different, right? Everybody does brass, which there's nothing wrong with brass. I love brass, um, but yeah, this just looks great. Um, now I have to find someone. I think Jake, since he's doing the, the custom knobs, I may hit him up for something that matches Arctic. Um, although I might try some other different key sets on here. Like I said, with acrylic slash polycarb, um, unless it's like smoked, uh, neutral sets look really, really good on them, in my opinion. Um, black and white could look good on here, obviously. Um, I'd like paperwork, but again, because I went with a 7U spacebar, um, a lot of sets don't have that, so I'll have to I'll have to find out which ones do. I didn't want to put Space Cadet on here because I've got Space Cadet on the elephant. I'm gonna put it on the garbage truck. Um, I still have a set of blue alphas that I may use on something. I, I've got enough for like three or four boards, so I think this worked out really well. And uh, again, thank you, man. This is this is fantastic. And yes, oh, thank you very much for building. Yeah, Ashton. So, oh, uh, Ashton wants clarification: is the copper for the plate or the weight or both? Um, I will, we'll see how the, the IC goes right now. Copper plate doesn't look too popular, but for sure for the weight, okay. uh, that's, I think, uh, should be staying. I think a plate with some more flex, uh, would, would do really well in here too. Uh, but as I said, I'm a heavier typist and I like a little firmer feel. Uh, this is firm without being like jarring, if you will. Um, an ocean could be. Ocean can be a little jarring. I actually hope people use the FR4 plate a little bit more in the ocean um, because if anybody's aware, obviously, like a top mount brass plate board on aluminum um, can be a very hard material to tune. Um, and I have Lanier's in these. I almost wish I put tactiles in, in this board uh, because of the typing experience. So um, yeah, something with a little more flex uh, for those of you that really like it, I think would go well for a plate material. Um, so just kind of throwing that out there for you, for you guys, you know, something to consider. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm I'm super pleased. This this looks amazing. I'm super stoked to use it tomorrow. Um, yeah, very cool, man. Very cool. I can't. I I literally I would tell you if it was shit, and it's not. I promise you. <laughs> um, I know that's always a concern, but no, this is this is cool. And the and the build process is easy, right? Like. Um, again, because you have no hardware, you just got to put the gaskets on the plate um, and then put the board together. And that ability to, excuse me, take it apart, super, super easy. Um, I think that's just kind of underrated a little bit. Um, you know, with this, I got to take apart four screws. If I want to take out the plate, it's another six screws. Um, I got to line it up. This literally just pull it apart. 
and the magnets will last forever, so... <laughs> um, yeah, super stoked, man. Let's see who else is in chat. Ooh, looks good. Uh, miss putting a little... So, Chrome, don't worry. Um, all these VODs save on Twitch for a week or however long it is. I end up putting them on my YouTube, uh, The Hedgehog 86. That's my YouTube channel. Um, I actually have to upload the interview with Wallet Burner from Tuesday. I haven't gotten around to doing that yet because I've been really lazy. Um, but reminder for those of you that are still here, uh, Saturday, 1.30 p.m. Eastern, I will be building the garbage truck. Um, for those of you for... I know there's some newer ones in here. If you're not familiar with that board, uh, this is the garbage truck from Trash Man. Uh, top mount FR4 plate, 45% um, with dedicated arrows and numpad, or nine, nine key, 10, 11 key numpad, um, and a big ass rotary encoder. Um, super nice board. Don't mind the fingerprints. Uh, there were only 30 of these made. Christian and I were talking about a little bit earlier. Um, he's got one. You you like yours, right? Right, Christian? Yeah, it's it's great. Uh, I use it quite a bit. Okay. I've got, uh, the only options are big bar for it. There's no split space option. So it's a 6.25 and two different 7U layouts. I'm doing symmetrical 7U layout. So I believe it's uh, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1 1.25, I think. Um, yep. Yeah, so a uh, symmetrical layout. Um, Space Cadet will be going on this. I specifically um, had that in mind when I purchased this from Wallet Burner, so I'm really, really excited. Which, I, you know, I got to say, Christian, that's the one thing I noticed about this board. Um, because, because it's not minivan, because it's not a 1.75 backspace, uh, if you go, like, the GMK route, you have to get the base for the numpad or or at least you have to have the numpad plus the 40s kit so from a kitting perspective uh this is not the greatest board <laughs> um and i was uh, i was like struggling with that um like i said i'm trying to buy terminal from a guy uh, currently because he's got the base plus the um plus 40s and i think that um i think that the base with terminal came with the number numpad so i'm hoping to pick that up I've got some artisans that match that that would go in here too. It's a gamer set, um, so cross your fingers for me, guys. I, I hope I get that. <laughs> but yeah, this from a kidding perspective, this board is a nightmare um, for anything like GMK, like obviously uh, DSA or DSS, um, something where you can mix and match is a little bit easier. Um, but either way, I'm still really looking forward to. Obviously, with Cat, I got everything I need. Um, and I really think Space Cadet will look awesome on this. I hope it does. If not, I'll find a GMK set I love and throw it on there. But yeah, this will be a fun build on Saturday. And I'm doing that earlier in the afternoon for a lot of people uh, in the EU and UK who have said, you know, obviously it's super late. They can't stay up for my streams now. So um, just FYI. And then after this build, sorry, putting that on the shelf. After this build, um, I think Evan said Coriander is going to start shipping tomorrow. So uh, we'll be building the Coriander. For those that don't know, that's the minivan layout board. Um, well, I say that, but like jet van, minivan, you can use any of the compatible PCBs, I think. Um, I have a catch PCB for it, uh, but it's made out of Corian. So it's got that. And then, um, Christian, correct me if I'm wrong, the middle layer is copper actually or brass Something. i believe it's copper yeah i believe it's copper so it'll be like <laughs> it'll be my second board with copper and in, in a week <laughs> uh which will be pretty interesting um and i'll probably end up putting dss 420 on that um yeah probably 420 honestly i think there was one other set oh um Maybe Cam Little Pilot. I think that'd be cheating though, because Cam Little Pilot looks good on like everything. But I think with like the slightly shiny Corian and Cam Little Pilot, that might look really amazing. I don't know yet. Um, so that that's pretty good. Yeah, that's still on the table for sure. Um, and then like from an interview perspective, you know, like I said, I've got those builds coming. From an interview perspective, Tiny Makes Things is on the list to schedule. I'll let you guys know when I do that. And, uh, and then anybody else uh, that you guys want me to try and go after. Um, Evan's going to be hard. I, I want to interview Evan. 
um, but it's it's harder at you know he's two hours behind and making time work that might be like a weekend stream type thing where again we do it like a Saturday afternoon something like that we'll see um, but yeah I, I appreciate this so much again I, I know I can't say thank you enough but seriously this is a great board I'm really looking forward to to uh, ugh, messing around on it tomorrow at work um, and thank you everybody for who tuned in to check it out uh, I hope you seriously consider this board, and I'm not just saying that because Christian's here. Like, legitimately, uh, this is a very, very nice board. I'm, I would be very excited. Um, I might find myself trying to get a group by unit in, like, aluminum. I think that'd be kind of cool, too. So, um, hope you guys had a great time, and uh, I appreciate it very much. So, thank you, thank you. And uh, I'll see you guys on Saturday, 1.30 p.m. Christian. Please hang around. Uh, I'll catch you in Discord voice in a minute, all right? All right, will do. All right, thanks, everybody.